I'm David Thaxton and I play the Phantom. Getting the call to say that I was going to do this job was very, very cool, actually, obviously. Um, uh, it's, it was weird, it's one of those things, I didn't, it's a show that I think I had thought would pass me by. I think it, it, I was sort of thought it, it never was never quite a fit because I've auditioned for it a bit in the past, at the very start of my career and then sort of more recently and it's either like a timings thing and it didn't work out or I can remember auditioning for uh, cover Rao years ago and my friend getting it instead of me and sort of I just sort of thought oh okay that's always gonna pass me by so I sort of put it out of my mind and then when it all worked out it was a lovely lovely surprise and what I've realized uh, since since getting getting the job and then rehearsing it and uh, and performing is that that I, I pushed out of my head how much I used to love this show when I was younger and when I was rehearsing it was sort of all coming back to me like god I know all of this already and how can that be possible but I think it's it had been stored away over all these years it's an extremely iconic musical theatre role um, you are aware that because this show is so stable and secure and and has just started here in 86 and that's it so you are acutely aware that like of the weight of history so that's Michael Crawford got all his makeup on in in there and would have sat in here and so all of that stuff it, it that adds a bit more to it than um the normal I say normal than if you're doing another iconic role obviously like Javert in Name Is which I played a very iconic role incredibly iconic show there is a downside to it which is it's got 30 what is it three this year, year's worth of people's expectations about what a, what this role is attached to it, and not just the role, the show, and, and, and every it becomes people's property. People have real ownership over shows like this, which is amazing. Um, but it's also it's quite weird as well. It's sort of weird from a, because because people have very much like this is what I feel, and this is what this means to me, and if you come in and you you go a different way with something, then that th that can be problematic. But also there's there's sort of, these things work for a reason, you know, these shows run as long as they have for a reason. So there is a certain framework that makes these things work. So it's your job to, to understand that and try and be as fresh and alive and as truthful as possible whilst knowing that there are certain things that you have you just have to do because that's what it is i do have a favorite moment and it's nothing to do with me um i went to see it with my wife before i when i was auditioning for it <clears throat> i have only i'd seen it twice but i hadn't seen it in years and so we went to see it and the overture started and the bit in the uh, overture in the orchestra kick in is just like <laughs> those horns started and and that's now both turned to each other. We went, oh, he's good, isn't it? And it is just, it is so exciting. It is, it's a bit, it's like, you know, Christmas Eve. It's like the anticipation of, of things is just summed up in that amazing microcosm of that moment in the overture. If, if someone out there is watching this and wants to go down in, into performing, it's a two pronged answer. Um, I'll do the slightly negative one first. Do, have, be interested in other things. Have something else going on in your life because it is hard, man. It's, it's, it's a tough industry. There are bajillions of actors out there. It's all opinion. Any, it might be anyone's entire career is, unless you start writing your own stuff or doing your own stuff, you, it hinges on the opinion of other people who will allow you to do something. Um, however, so, so my wife and I run a, a company called WM Workshops where we uh, provide top level drama training that's totally affordable. And there's something we always say, if there's something else you love as much as this, do that because do that, keep this as a hobby, enjoy this because it, it's so tough. So, but if you have to do it, then you've just got to believe in yourself and you've just got to, I've learned this as I've gotten older, you they, they just they leave it all out there every single day because there's, there's always someone behind you who will do that. I always use Killian as the example. Killian Donnelly. Killian, I would say this to our students. Killian Donnelly is coming in that audition room after you, and he will do anything. He will leave it out there. 
So you've got to leave it out there. And that is every single day of your training from day one. Prior to that, Amdram, give it just everything. And if you don't do that, then maybe it's not for you and that's cool.